my gosh. Oh my gosh, my cowlick is like... I can't start it yet. It started. I'm not putting it in my mouth. My hair is a mess. Holy cow. Welcome to the Straw Family Farm. Same show, just a different day, okay? I'm Christy. You're... Actually, I'm a mess. He's RJ. <laughs> I'm Snickers. There you go. Alright. In, in the, the chapel. chapel. If, in fact, Abraham was justified by works... He had something to boast about, but not before God. Romans 4, 2. Yep. 10, 4, Lily. Get it? 10, 4, 4, 2? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Google. Anyway. Uh, that was brought to you by Google Assist. I just asked it for a good Bible verse. I'm just brother. playing with my new phone. <laughs> so, it's not that all that was, fancy. It's just That Google was broke. brought to you by Google. That's right. Okay. Stickers. Frank with peanuts. Mm-hmm. All right. So, hello. In the barn stalls. We got. I've got coffee. Grab you a snack. Mm-hmm. He's it's got hot it. chocolate. And stickers. Uh, we just ate chili and hamburgers. Soup. I made both to get us through the weekend. So, right. All right. It's a little squiggle worm. Look, he's pushing me up right now. Oh, you didn't get any much. That's because okay. I can't. Because Carl. It can't move the bench because the dog's under it. Okay, I can scoot over here, and you can scoot over there, and then we can tip this like this. It's snowing, folks. So anybody who ordered snow, please come get it. It's free to a good home. Some people would even pay you to take it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so in the barn stalls, what do we got going on? The dogs are are out of control. Um, Part of the problem is... Part of the problem is... You just now know she had two pair of glasses on? Yeah. Oh. Oops. She's a little goofy looking, folks. She's a little goofy in the head, too, so it's okay. It all goes together. Yeah. Okay, um, anyway. So, the dogs are being trained, but with the weather, we won't use the collars, the training collars on them, when it's wet, because their hair gets wet, and Wilbur has really long hair. We just, I don't know. It's a mental thing, isn't it? I don't yeah, know. It's just they're waterproof and that. It's just... Electric, <laughs> even if it's a little shot with water, just I'm not doing it, not doing it, especially when they're grounded in like what two inches of water. I can see that with shock one of them. Carl is like right here, his head is right here. Mm. I can see that we'll get one and we'll end up but hard to give your hand to Wilbur. I've got Carl. All right, well, you've got my hand. Don't do anything bad with it, okay? Um, we have figured out that Carl's a bully, he bullies Wilbur. He, when he's out there running like Carl will go and just go whap and knock him down and run into him and knock him down. Thank you. But they're super sweet when they're inside. They're just havoc outside. Until you turn your back on them. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> they became heathens. Love on Wilbur. He's got a hand. A hand or two. Mm-hmm. Oh, they just, they were inside. I posted on Facebook a, a thing on my muddy floor. Oh my gosh. There was a time I'd freak out and say, Oh my god, my floor! Now, just let him play. Right. Don't play. Right. Back to the podcast. Okay. Take your hands off. Hands up. Dogs <laughs> down. Go. <laughs> yes. He's Push all me to me. Carl, please. We'll put up to the chips in your phone. <laughs> in the barn stalls. Dogs are a mess. We understand that part. Yes, they're going to be a mess. But really, everything okay, else is just so kind of cold, wet, and rainy. Well, let's be honest. Are they making improvement? Yes, they are. They're improving more with me. I don't put the collars on at all, do I? No. I still use the whistle, and they still respond. Um, Wilbur gets a little stubborn, but I know it's because he doesn't want to come because Carl's coming, and Carl bullies him. Doesn't excuse it. We just have to find another way to deal with it, correct? So. Because the ones for Carl was the best. Alright, there's two new kids in here. Not in the house, but where are they at? They're out with the other kids. Mm-hmm. Yep, where'd they come from? Okay. They're ours. Yep. Okay, now what about the other little black one over here? That uh, this two isn't all we've gotten in. It's winter here, folks, and that means if there's babies that need doctoring, guess what? We are on call. Yep. <laughs> so, we have, um, we still have the little blind one, right? Yep. Um, we just bought the other two that 
there's different ways to do this, okay? And what we do, we don't ever really talk about it, but if your price is within reason, we'll just outright purchase the animal, okay? A lot of people will do that with steers because they don't need them for replacement heifers, you know, for whatever happens. Um, Get out of that. Get in my ash bucket. Um, no, we don't need ash. Then we have dogs. a program where we'll raise it up, especially if it's a heifer kick. A lot of people will have us raise it up and then they'll keep it as a replacement for whatever went wrong with this mom that would make them come in here, right? So, and that can be used either way. I mean, either we raise them for you and you pay a fee or we can buy them outright if you think you're gonna lose money on them anyway. So we have two here that belong to someone else, right? Yep. And two that we purchased. So, um, and it depends on the size too, you know? But it's the work still has to be done, and guess who gets to do it? Only on the weekends. I don't work all those times. Yep. There you go. So, but none of them have been small enough to really put on bottle. Most of them just need. They're like um, okay. The, so the little black one we have over here that belongs to another man. Uh, its mom died, and it was just sucking off of the other cows. Well, he moved the cows to another pasture, and that calf didn't have any mom so it if it's going to have a chance it's got to learn to go to feed and it does eat feed doesn't it mm -hmm. it's big enough but it just doesn't do as good if you put it in with the big cows it gets pushed aside so you brought it here we'll feed it out he'll get it when it's big enough to fit in with his yearlings or whatever and that way it'll be fine it gets enough feed it's not pushed out so it's a good thing all right, anything else going on in the barn stalls? No. What do you need for? What about precious? Oh, yeah. We have a potential home for her. Yep. We're still working on the details, right? Yep. Um, she's still here, uh, but it looks like she might be going with a young man who did amazing on her, huh? He's learning to calf rope, mm -hmm. and she was right there with him, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, we'll see how that goes, and we'll keep you posted, and if that would be another success story, huh? Yep. Yep. And if you're interested in seeing what she looked like when she came to us, you can find it at Precious's Journey in our, um, it's an album of Precious's Journey. On the good old book face. Yep, on book face, so book boom but and she's doing amazing now so anyway anything else there was that thing oh then it's flooded everything's wet but that's it's not in the barn stall <laughs> and it's snowing it is snowing it's not trying to do anything it's snowing okay so mending fences he hasn't fixed a darn thing he hadn't even taken my christmas lights down i asked him to he won't I'm not taking them down it's a lot he says he's not taking them down until July, which means I'll have to get out there and take them down. It's one electrical cord, and she's gonna take them down. I'm gonna run, to run them back out just for the fun of it. <laughs> not time yet. No. So nothing done in mending this fences. Nope. Okay. We actually had a plan this week, but it got cold, and I didn't get done. Boom. Mm -hmm. Blew it up. What was the plan? Yep. I was gonna put. Get off me. You took. I was going to put two by fours along the pig fence so that we could put little britches back over here. But she is, um, it's Charlotte. She keeps getting out. So we're going to have to do something. She's in the old dog pen right now, but. Carl just crawled underneath the little cabinet back there. And he's attempting <laughs> to sneak underneath somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, no, he's not moving. He just laid down there. <laughs> because he can't go anywhere. You stuck? Dorky dog. Well, why don't you try to follow him? Because that ain't going to end again. <laughs> no, because we're going to be dumped on our butts. Okay, so, in the yarn farm, what do we got going on in the yarn farm? Zip. 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 Uh, we got a giveaway going on. Will you go get that yarn oh, yeah. that's up on the printer and the book really quick so we can just touch on it? Come on. Oh, yeah. If you can get how old Mom is. Yep. If you guess. 105. 105. 
If you guess how old I am going to be on my birthday, which is February 6th, we do the drawing on the 7th. Um, you have to have gotten the number right, so your guess, if it's correct, qualifies you to be in a drawing. If there's only one, then that person wins. Just saying. So, um, the drawing is pretty much the tiebreaker. So, guess the way we have a thread on Facebook, which I was going to pin, and then I forgot. So, but here is the Nobody needs stylish fashion. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, like, see, it's my shirt. That's it. This is the yarn, and it's it's a pale pink. I'm looking for something white. Here's an info. Let's see here. I can call it pink. Yeah, it looks faded, though. See? It's a pale pink, and it's a lot brighter than well, it's, it's looking on camera. Well, it's called a giveaway. Camera. It's free. People don't complain about free things. And then you get this, just like you, little lamb. It's a book for children that you read to your children, but then... There is instructions, little lamb's instructions, and that little um, bunny rabbit right there, you can see it's a pattern for him. So you get the book, the pattern, and the yarn. We're only getting pink yarn if you want to have a different color one. You know, so anyway, there he is. But this goes to one lucky winner who can guess how old I am. Well, that's how you qualify to be in the drawing, is to guess how old I am, right? Has anybody guessed it yet? I can't say that because then people will go back and look and know that they got it right or wrong. My favorite, though, your favorite too, was I was twenty nine plus twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping and handling. <laughs> right? Yeah, they were wrong. I'm not twenty nine, am I? You're still gonna put them in the drawing, aren't you? No. No. Okay. No. If there is a correct answer, that one takes precedence. If nobody guesses it, then yeah, I'm putting that one in the drawing. So whoever did that, just know. Nobody gets right. You could be a winner. Winner, chicken dinner. So, anyway, so that's going on in the yarn farm. Um, in the fields, my gourds are still sitting on the snow. RJ didn't get them picked up. We don't know what's going to make it and what's not. Um, normally, I would have been out there getting them and stuff, but the problem is I have them harvested. They're just laying out, and they were drying in the sun. And it was really, what, 60s and 70s a week ago? When we were at Omega, it was, what, 60-something? Mm -hmm. 70? And that was last Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And today, it is 27 degrees. It's been raining two days, and now it's snowing. So the difference one week can make. But I had to work, so I didn't get back down there to... Uh, Work, 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 work. Well, I asked you to do it, and you didn't do it. I had to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my truck going to get... Oh, and mending fences, we didn't talk about the truck. Did we? Alright, so, well, rewind. Well, I'm going to talk to him about it. We're going to. <laughs> okay. We done? So, the truck. It has a fuel pressure issue. It can be one of two things. Um, the fuel lines are getting old and he said when they get soft it could um, collapse. So we're taking it in Monday or Wednesday, we're not sure which, um, to see if we can get, they're going to put all new fuel lines on it and make sure that there's Ooh. nothing cracked or anything because with a diesel the fuel is under pressure and that it doesn't have spark plugs that fire. It started with an injection of high-powered diesel. So if it has no pressure, it kind of messes everything up. I suppose I'll get better gas mileage, fuel mileage. It's not gas because it's not, what do you call that? Diesel mileage. There you go. Um, or so fuel mileage. If it is not that, it'll be the regulator. And we'll have that. Regulated? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have it replaced so that it'll regulate right. <laughs> but anyway, so... Yeah, it doesn't need money just for the hoses and then, um, which, it, if you own an old, older vehicle, know you're going to have to put new hoses on it. Just a thing. Just saying. Or they go kaboom. They do not. <laughs> Quit messing with the camera. They do too. No, they collapse. I blew up. Uh, they collapse. We blew one up on a gold truck one time. Okay, be, no, you blew it off and it had a rip in it because it collapsed. It did not collapse. It went kaboom. It did not go kaboom. Yes, it did. They I got the piece first. of hose. Okay, part of it collapsed, which made this right here get really big, and then it split, and 
So it blew up. Now it blew up after it fell it. Hold it. <laughs> What's that blew up? Boom. Anyway, they t- have a tendency to collapse for stuff. Oh, Wilbur's well, getting up her hand. He's got Carl by the foot. That one I was trying to get a drink. No sweats. Oh, he's underneath him. He's going to get him. He's going to get him. Oh. Yeah, they're both going to go to get fixed here before long. I was getting by an ear because Carl sat on his head. So he's like, ah, oh, forget that foot. I'll grab an ear. I think they love each other. They just get mad. And mm-hmm. Carl does bully a lot. And Wilbur's coming down now. And Wil- Wilbur gets mad about it. So, anyway, all right. Fast forward now because we're in the Shadow. fields. No. Field. We were in the fields and then we were out to Main Fences Top of Truck. In the farmhouse. What's been going on in the farmhouse? The dogs have been getting into everything in the house. I gotta clean up the bar. They love foam cups and two liter bottles of pop. Uh-huh. And it doesn't matter if the two liter bottles of pop are empty, are empty at all. They stole a full one the other day. Mom's nervous. <laughs> I was like, get back! Oh, no. It's going to explode! And they were in the house, so yeah. Kaboom! Well, here's the thing. If you, if you look at the video on my Facebook page, not the farm one, I didn't put the the picture, the video of the, but you can see that the floor is covered in mud, and the dogs have these two liter balls of pop that they play soccer with, pretty much. So, yeah. Anyway, anything else going on? You got a roping today, right? Yep. It's cold. Oh, check my fire fork was down. Fork was down. Uh-huh. I'm trying to build a fire and all the wood is wet um, because we need to get it all in. Oh, but it's good. It is not. <laughs> Put another piece on it. It's actually going really well. It's just, um, needs more. Don't do that. What? Don't put little on it. I had already gotten to the bigger stuff. Oh. Put it on to, towards the back so that it'll drop. There you go. No! It'll get hot. It's burning a little wood that we don't need, but we need the big wood dried out or we're not going to be able to keep our fire going. Put little bitty stuff on it. It'll get hot. Hot, hot, hot. You're just a hot mess. What the? Well, if you look at my fashion statement, you'll tell. Did you just show your belly button to the camera? No, I was trying to show my pants. You showed your belly button. But still, I got my, they can see my camouflage pants. I'm not going to go like Urkel and pull up here, okay? <laughs> That's just not me. Please nope. do your Urkel impression. Nope, not going to go there. <laughs> but. And then you got your t-shirt on and your shirt on. Yeah, my, pants, my jeans were soaked, so I took them off and put my pajamas on. Yep. I'm walking around and came up flash pajamas. Nobody can see my legs. <gasps> can't see my legs. I can't see my legs. I can feel I just can't feel What was it, the joke that we heard the other day? Nurse comes into the doctor. She says, "Doctor, there's a man in the waiting room who thinks he's invisible." Doctor looks up and says, "Tell him I can't see him today." Mm. I don't know where my phone is. It's not turned off. <laughs> it's Facebook. Not important. No. Apparently, the phone thinks it is. What'd you do? It dings and then it, and it comes in and then it tells me I got a notification. It keeps notifying me. So, all right. Anything else going on? Really, there's not a whole lot going on. I've been working. It's cold. We've got cattle coming in, which is we did cattle before we did sheep. And in the winter, cattle is pretty much our primary, isn't it? Yep. Um. Oh, are you gonna talk about the mill? We found. Some feed, and we're making do, but it's not going very well, is it? No. Uh, hopefully we'll get we it. get us a grain bin owned or portable, yep. non-portable. You want to talk about that real quick? Sure. Because we're going to move a picnic table, and in order to have a grain bin, you have to have something solid to put it on, like a rock pad. Well, I don't have a rock pad, but what have I got? Uh, a little concrete pad. They used to have a storage building on it. So, when you drive up, our grain bin is going to be parked right by the house. And the truck doesn't even have to go out to the barn, doesn't have to go anywhere. We'll just fill it up and off we go. Right? Yep. And as long as the grain bin does not leak, that is the only thing, right? Mm hmm. Alright. So, we're, and that's where we're going to put it. We'll figure out where to put the picnic tables. Maybe they'll go back out the back door, you think? Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they'll go down in the garden. What do you think? 
Maybe we can just bring him in the house. Get yep. him to the table. Put him in the table. Sure. Alright, let's Sounds do like it. a plan. This table can go down to the tiny house. Oh, I said we may get into firewood. I'm gonna make more fire. You wouldn't have put all that wet wood on there. We would have had a nice warm fire. Well, this is dry. We could. Here, we'll just grab a leg. No. This is my table. It's old. Yeah, I know. It's nice, yeah. old, and dry. <laughs> just take a couple of little drops. It's actually drops. got a big crack down the center of it. Right, it'd be care. real easy to split up. I don't care. You can't really tell. It's where the wood is. I'll just grab together. this chair. And we'll stay I probably there. could wood glue it and use a big clamp, clamp it back together. Don't care. So, if nothing else to it, I'm happy. Four. Anyway, all right. Anything else in the barn stalls? Oh, um, I'll be posting. I guess this is on the porch, right? No, off the market. I haven't been working on anything. Because um, I got the booth done and I took a week off. Um, off to market. The soaps and the lip balm. I have had really, really good results with them. And we're really liking it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Everybody likes them. So we're going to... Would you put turn your lip inside out? Mm. It's gross. Mm. Quit. Look at it. It's inside out. Have you brushed your teeth? Mm -hmm. You see anything? Uh, wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look like a skeleton. Gross. Quiet. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. If you don't want that in your mouth, we don't want it out here either. Wet. <laughs> 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 Not to lick your hand with you. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. I'm glad I smacked it. I was like, mm. <laughs> I was trying to reach it, but I couldn't reach it. <laughs> no. Anyway, mm. all right, so the soaps, and what I'm getting to is the soaps and the lip balm will be posted. That's not a very good marketing thing. Come on, I'm trying to sell stuff. Here. Lip balm. Just on your lips. You just okay. do this. <laughs> you just do this. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you just touched my toe. You just Gross. tastes awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have been petting the dog, but it's not even a really good thing. <laughs> tastes terrible. But it freaks like you dog. out more than it tastes terrible. I know. My hands are, that's why they're down here. Um, anyway, so I'll post the soap and lip balm um, probably first on Facebook. He's going to be hot chocolate and coffee. That's how you make uh, cappuccino. <sighs> I'm done. Is it not? Anyway, look for those. It'll post first on Facebook because that's where most of our buyers are, correct? Mm -hmm. So it posts on Facebook first and then. But just go and check it out. I hope to have it done this weekend. Just know that once they're gone, they're gone. I don't have any curing right now. So, all right. We good? We good. All right, we're off of here. We'll see you next time. Have a great snow day. <clears throat>